Hi, welcome to short clips from Python for oil and gas training course. In this video, I will show you how to program this Vogel equation into Python. So pause the video for the equation. We'll go ahead and launch Spider software and start writing some code. So before anything, um, what we are going to do is to calculate the Vogel equation and then we are going to plot it using Plotly library. So what we need to do is to import a library called Plotly. So what we say is import plotly.express. Express actually it's a sub library that uh, exists inside of Plotly. We say as ex ex, this means name the express, name it as ex. So we don't uh, need every time to write express. Next step is we'll to import the main library Plotly. This will help us showing the plot. The other steps will be to write our well test uh, data. So QOIL equals to from the well test is uh, 2500 for the PWF equals to 1800. And then we have something called the Vogel coefficient. It's V. The V is usually equals to 0.8. Later in this uh, video, we'll change this V to see how it will going to affect the QO max and the result overall. So what we need to do is to apply the Vogel equation to these data above. S before that, we need to calculate QO max. So we'll say QO max equals to Q oil divided by the equation we just saw, which 1 minus 1 minus V multiplied by a pressure ratio which is PWF over P reservoir. We haven't declared any P reservoir yet. That's why it's shown in, in red. Let's go ahead and declare it. P res equals to 3000. Even better if we make a pressure ratio out of these. So we'll say P ratio equals to PWF divided by P reservoir. So we don't need to write these anymore. We'll just replace these with uh, P ratio underscore ratio. And this is the equation. We continue with the equation. V multiplied by the P ratio to the power of 2. Now, using this equation, actually, we calculate QO max. Let's just go ahead and run this equation. The program is executed. If we go into this uh, tab, it's called variable explorer. We can see the QO max is calculated to be 4,222. We go ahead with the rest of the uh, program. What we need to do is to calculate um, Q oil for assumed PWF. So I will provide a list for those PWFs I want to use. So I will say PWF, li PWF list equals to some arbitrary values I'm going to assume. These value actually uh, range from zero usually to the reservoir pressure. For each value of these PWFs, there is a corresponding Q oil I will calculate using a for loop. So for PWF inside PWF list. Now what I need to do is to calculate the Q oil. How to calculate the QL is actually we use the same equation, but we inverse it this time. So this is the equation to calculate QL. Um, the issue is here uh, when whenever you calculate the QL, actually it's not saved anywhere. So we need to save it somehow. What we need to do is to declare an empty list that will hold the queues for me. An empty list in Python is actually just open and close brackets. 
and then I will add these calculated queues, newly calculated queues in this line to the queue or queue list. What is uh, what I say is queue list dot append. Append means add value to the already existing list. I will add the value of queue. Now uh, my 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 loop is done. What I need to do, I need to plot this out. So using the plotly library we already uh, imported, I need to declare a figure. I will call it fig express line. This means plot a line for me. In the x, I will I will add the qo q list. For the y, I will plot the pwf pwf list. Uh, to show this plot, I use this command plotly dot offline dot show and I will pass the figure inside the parenthesis. We run the software. Actually, it's not show, sorry, it's a plot. We run it again. And this is the line we get. Let's take into account the effect of uh, Vogel coefficient on these values, on the values of QO max. What we need to do is to open another loop. I will uh, just uh, delete this. I will open another loop for V in. I can declare lists like this as well. I will just assume some values for the Vogel coefficient. The Vogel coefficient actually is uh, ranging from usually from 0 to 1. So I will assume these values. And based on these values, I calculate QO max again. I will just copy and paste the QO max equation. So let's print out the results. We'll say print QO max equals to some value QO max. And then we'll add add V coefficient equals to and then I will add the V coefficient we just used. We will run the program. Now we will get the QO max with the V values we get. Thanks for watching. Hope to see you soon in the Python course for oil and gas industry.